Two deputies out of the hospital tonight after they were heard in a shootout with a man wanted for murder in Rockdale County. Neighbors kept away from their homes for hours as SWAT members tried to convince the man to surrender. But when they tried to get into his home, GBI says a gun battle started. 11 Lies Latasha Givens has the latest. Those two officers have been treated and released from the hospital. Now, this SWAT situation was also a nightmare for the community as lunchtime traffic had to be diverted and residents had to be evacuated from their homes. One neighbor says he couldn't get back into his house until around 4 a.m. this morning. This home on Spring Street was the center of an hours long standoff that turned deadly and injured two officers. And in the line of fire, this home where Ken neighbors lives. I was wondering what was going on, but then I saw there was about nine police cars up this way and nine down this way, and the guys were getting behind all the trees with the rifles and the pistols. This was just before 1 p.m. on Thursday. Investigators say 66-year-old Gerald Allen, who lives at the home, was holed up inside after shooting two people on Green Street, killing one of them. GBI says negotiators tried to reason with him for hours. And at about 7.30 in the evening, the SWAT team entered the home. Deputies say Allen opened fire on them, grazing two deputies. Officers fired back, killing Allen. GBI identified the wounded deputies as Corporal Michael Moon and investigator Travis Cobo. Both had been with the department since 2014. Ken Neighbor says before that shootout, the SWAT team escorted My him wife. to meet his wife, who was on the street. other side of the and crime scene. So he put me in the back of the SWAT van and took me down. Had to stand behind the guy with the shield. What was that like? That was scary. Once evacuated, he kept checking to see if it was safe to go home. And then we got up this morning at 3 o'clock, tried to come back over. Road still closed. He says they were finally That's able to go work. back to their home and around 4 a.m. Friday. Investigators still have not said what led up to the initial shooting that killed Robbie Daniels and injured another person, nor have they said Allen's connection to the victims. And the GBI will continue to investigate the officer-involved shooting portion of this case. We'll keep you updated online and on air.